So in 7.4, we're going to start using parallel lines to create our similar triangles, and we're going to have proportional parts because of that. So we're going to have a theorem called side splitter theorem. Side splitter theorem basically means I'm going to split the two sides with a parallel line. Uh, if a line is parallel to one side of the triangle and intersects, it divides the two sides proportionally. The bases are not the same proportion. When you're talking about the bases, you have to look at the two triangles themselves. So if this was, let's call this side 9, and this was 3, if this was, uh, let's do 6, this would be 2. 9 over 3 is the same as 6 over 2. Or 3 over 1 and 3 over 1. That's not going to be the same proportion for the bases, and we'll see in a couple examples later why that is. So the side splitter corollary basically is an addition onto the side splitter theorem saying that if instead of triangles we're just looking at three parallel lines, it has the same proportion just like we did A over B is the same, same as C over D. So in example one, given the parallel lines as shown in the diagram, uh, let's start labeling JK is 7, JH, this entire side is 28, JL is 6, I need to find LI. So in order to find LI, I could do one of two things. I could look at the two triangles that are similar, or I could use the side splitter theorem. Since this segment, KJ over here is 7, and the whole thing is 28, I know that this part right here is 21. So... 7 over 21 is the same as 6 over x. Cross multiply, that's not right. Let's try that again. 126 equals 7x. Divide by 7, x gets you 18. So here's an example that we're going to use. We're going to find x and y in this picture. And what I want to do with this is start looking at the two different versions. I'm going to find x using side splitter theorem. So 9 over x equals 12 over 6. When I cross multiply, 12x equals 54. x equals 4.5. So this is not the same proportion for y. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to look at the entire side here. I know that my two bases are proportional to the side. 12 is from the small triangle, just like y is from the small triangle. 22.5 is from the big triangle, just like 18. So I'm going to cross multiply here. 18 times y, that's just 18y. When I take 22.5, multiply by 12, I get 270. Divide by 18, I get that y is 15. So when you're finding one of the bases, you have to use the entire side and one of the small sides. In this example 3, we need to find x. To make them parallel, but I don't have anything about the basis, so I can just start cross multiplying. I can set up a proportion 20 over x equals 18 over 9. And for side splitter, one thing that I do a lot is the way it's written, I just write that fraction 20 over x, 18 over 9. When I cross multiply, 180 equals 18x, so x is 10. This is the side splitter corollary. It's three parallel lines, but it's the exact same setup. Here's a fraction, here's a fraction. So 3 over x equals 4 over x plus 4. 4x equals 3 times x plus 4. I'm going to distribute, and I get x equals 12. Now getting x is 12, 
is fine, just in case we can always plug it back in, just so we have our final answer. This one's 16, this one's 12. Just double check every time what the final thing you need to solve for is. In this case, it was only x. Remember, sometimes it's more than that.